What's up guys and welcome back to the FOMO Factory. Let's talk today about recovering your crypto losses because we can talk a lot about trying to make gains in the bear market, making a passive income in the bear market and all that stuff. Good reason to subscribe to the FOMO Factory. You are welcome to join. But before we're going to do that, it's maybe a good idea to check out like how can we recover the losses that we've made in the bear market? Because if you lost money the last year, then you're probably one of a lot. I lost a lot of money. I learned a lot of lessons and that's what I'm trying to bring to this channel. So how to recover these losses? Number one piece of advice that I can already give you is that you don't sell right now, right? That That's really not what you want. Look, this is what you get then. It doesn't make sense to sell right now. You bought, you have to remember, you bought these coins, whatever it might be. I'm going to show you the Bitcoin chart, but this reflects every altcoin that's in our wallet, right? And you have to realize like, Back in the day, I bought this and this altcoin for a good reason, right? You bought it because you believe in it. It's a good project. So if it's a good project, then it will be okay. Then a bear market is nothing more than a discount. Um, it's very bad for the coins you already had in your wallet, of course. But it's, you know, try to stay positive during these bloody times. I know it's very hard, but try to do that. But okay, I'm gonna give you a couple of things here that I consider uh, might be great ideas to recover your losses. And we're gonna start with the, you know, most simple one. And then we're gonna build it up to uh, a little more advanced, but also uh, more fast how to recover your losses way faster than, 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 than you want one. Because, you know, one thing <clears throat> you can do is, um, and let's, for example, say that you've bought Bitcoin at the top at, say, $70,000. Let's say I, you, you didn't, you didn't go all in there, probably. <laughs> Maybe some people did. But let's say you did, right? Then you are now in a big loss. Let's say you bought one Bitcoin or altcoins, but altcoins basically follow the same pattern, but then more extreme, right? But let's say you put in all your money here, one Bitcoin. So you uh, invested 70 grand. Now you are here, you have 20 grand to round it up, right? One thing you can do is just Nothing. Because if you believe like me that the crypto market will be way bigger than it is and that if we look back in a couple of years, let's say five or ten years, you look back at 2021, people are not going to say like that was the top, that was the max, that the, the highest Bitcoin ever went. Bitcoin never went, you know, 2025, 2026, after the next halving, all that kind of stuff. We won't look back at that and then say that, right? It will be way more than that. So the boring answer in this case is just wait that that's one answer right just wait write it out gonna be okay we're gonna have red days we're gonna have green days um but yeah that that's basically what you can do so if you don't sell wait we'll be okay okay cool but that's you know uh, the answer that you're probably not waiting for you probably feel like yeah dude that, that that's something that i know already right and that's not fast enough that's i want my money now Right, let's go to the second uh, solution. And before I'm gonna tell you that, you have to know every dollar you have in crypto right now will be at least $10 or $20 in the top of the next bull run, right? We are at the, you know, the, the, the bottom, in my opinion, of the bear market, or at least pretty near the bottom. At least we are very low and we are in the painful part of the bear market, right? That money, if you are sitting in good quality projects, will recover, right? So every dollar that you have right now could be 10 up till 20, maybe 50, depends on how high risk you are uh, holding uh, dollars in the next bull run. So with that being said, um, dollar costing is always a good idea, right? And you hear a lot of people tell you that, but uh, let me let me tell you this, because what's possible now is that let's say you bought at 70k okay cool now you have you know i can't i can't speak for you like what your income is and all that kind of stuff but um to recover your losses is more like adding to your losses right the, the, these these projects don't fall down for uh the fact that they are bad projects if you are sitting in good projects right i mean you could be sitting in phantom in avax in solana in bitcoin in ethereum in near in like these layer ones and uh you could be sitting in a lot of good projects like dexas uh, all that kind of stuff 
And these projects are usually good and most of them will survive in my opinion. So in that case, it's just a matter of keeping your conviction, right? So let's say you bought at 70K, now Bitcoin is 20K. Would you just wait and do nothing? If you have a job, if you have a disposable income, and I will make videos on how to make you know, passive income with crypto as well, so you can make money with crypto, to go more into crypto, of course. But for now, if you have a job, if you have any money to spare, set aside a certain amount every single month and just dollar cost. Because if you bought at 70K, again, and now Bitcoin is sitting at 20K, so if you now buy at 20K, you only have to allocate less than three times, you know, to get the same amount. So if you now buy the same amount at 20k then uh, your average is uh, 70 plus 20 is 90 time, uh, divided by 2 is 45,000 so instead of going all the way back here to break even you now only or only you know it, 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 it differs a lot you have to go back here to play even and then when we go back here you have profits and it doesn't sound like a lot but if you go back there you have 50 percent profits already so that's a very good way now um why not going all in at 20k like we are very low and it will go up so what what's the reason not to go all in right now um emotions uh mainly because if you now buy at 21k and it goes down here again, which is possible, you lose another 10%, then you losing more money while you're trying to recover uh, money. And that feeling can really hurt you and then you can make wrong decisions, right? Um, apart from wrong decisions, what if you go all in here and it goes down here? You have nothing to buy here then, right? You always have to keep a consideration that it might come down even further and if it goes up great then it goes up fine right i mean then you just buy here a little bit you buy here a little bit then you buy here a little bit here a little bit for example then this is around your average right that's a lot lower than that 70k that you bought it for last year so that's dollar costing just keep on allocating and dollar costing now is the great it, it is a great time to buy and maybe we'll look back in a couple of months or weeks and say whoa it's now a better time to buy could be there for your dollar costing of course but if you compare now up till last year then if you bought then why wouldn't you buy right now right just make sure you got money uh get a job right that's basically how you get money in the first place right then let's go to the portfolio because this is a very interesting thing if you um this is just an example right here but let's say this is my portfolio of last year right my 2021 portfolio i just have to take a look at my portfolio in that case and be like do i still believe in every single of these coins that i see right here for example joe do do i still believe in trader joe um yeah trade joe i mean it's a good platform and that's the thing right you have to conv have conviction in crypto itself to have to have conviction in all these 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 coins right here so if you are if you, if you now feel like, nah, I don't want to buy, I'd rather buy at 70k or around that, but not now, then you might want to do some more general research on crypto, um, on why it will go back up, right? This is not my first bear market, this is not my first upcoming bull market or whatever. Maybe it is yours, maybe it isn't yours. Um, anyway it could be really hard but if you have conviction then you'll see this as a discount right let's take a look at joe for example if you take a look at joe and um, let's say you bought this last year right so you bought it right here four dollars sixty cents you'll be like oh yeah joe was uh, going up all the way from two dollars to five dollars almost and now it came all the way down to 29 cents, right? 20 times as low almost. Then you might be wondering like, what up with the project? So you want to do the research on that project, go into their Telegram group, um, go here, you, you find it all on CoinGecko, right? You have their uh, Telegram, their Twitter, their uh, uh, the website, everything. And you wanna be like, okay, 
what up with this project? Is it still building? Why did the price came down, right? Is it because of the bear market or is it because of something happened to the project really? If it's just because of the bear market, like a lot of projects, then you'll have to take a look at this and be like, damn, what a chance we have right now. You kind of want to forget about your 2021 portfolio. You, you know, it's hard to forget. It's a lot of money right there. But again, if you put in a thousand dollars back then and your thousand dollars is now probably worth 200, maybe if you're lucky, right? Then you just must be like, let's start over again. Fuck that portfolio. Don't don't sell it. Don't don't. But don't really, you know, don't look at it. Um, just let's do it over again, right? Because if you now allocate a thousand dollars, you know, like okay, but damn, <laughs> this is pretty cheap, and we know what it can do, right? So if you now buy it, hey, look, if you bought it back then, what was the what was the perspective that you had like okay it could do a 10x yeah based on what right if we now take a look at it like okay if it goes 10x it would be at half of what it was right so is it 10x possible with this yeah hell yeah it proven that it could be done right people paid for it so it was worth it so what i did is I had my 2021 portfolio. I have portfolios here on CoinGecko and I have multiples. And at the top, you see 2021. I'm not looking at that anymore. I'm not, <laughs> it's not my thing anymore, right? What I did is I just made new portfolios and I have a lot of stuff right here, a lot of bullshit as well. But what I basically have is my low risk, my medium risk, my high risk. I have cash portfolio, I have a gaming portfolio and I have um, that, my launchpad portfolio. So that's what I'm building right now. And I'm just taking a look at my old portfolio. Look like, okay, what did I buy back then, right? And like I just showed you, are the projects still good? Da, 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 da. Yes, okay, cool. Let's allocate and let's do it smarter this time. Let's buy in while everything is 10, 20, 30, 40 times as low. So we're buying at a better moment and let's buy more cautiously. Let's not go like, oh, I'm spending, I don't know how much money in, in the top of the bull run on this because everything only goes up. No, it's low, slowly dollar cost, you know, in case it goes lower again. And then the bull run will continue when, I don't know, nobody can tell you. I have, I have, you know, certain expectations about that, but I don't know. But when it continues, then it is time to do the opposite of what we did last time, right? Last time we went to a project, for example, Phantom. Phantom got me wrecked. Totally honest about that. Then we go to, <laughs> look, fucking hell. So then we go to Phantom and then we will be like, let's pretend that this is where we are right now like let's pretend that this is the next bull run right because it will probably look like this so in that case we are buying here we are buying here even could be really fine here here, here. and in the next bull run what we did last time is we bought here right no we already bought here now so we sell here right and that's also a way to recover your losses right because you are making a lot of fucking profits on the coins you will buy right now right but at a certain point your old portfolio you will take a look at that and be like oh man i played even or i even have profits with it probably profits because i don't think that a lot of good projects have seen their all-time highs right in the next cycle i think sorry I've, my neck is like killing me I think in the next cycle, these good, good, good quality projects will see new all-time highs. I can definitely, if Phantom works out and if Phantom does a great job, I don't think uh, this $3.50, whatever it was, was the, I can't get it right, was the all-time high for Phantom of all times if we look back in 10 years, right? A lot of projects might, but this one I, I feel like can go way higher. And something else, a, a, a very good way to recover your losses with crypto is by making sure that you have a passive income. And um, a passive income, that's for a completely different video because that's a video uh, for itself. So I will make a video soon about how to make multiple passive income streams with crypto without investing or without investing a lot. But there are a lot of free ways as well. And it, it, that, that, that's golden key right now because um, 
there are a lot of ways that you can make a little bit of crypto, but that little bit of crypto isn't worth it in the bull run, right? Um, but in the bear market, a little bit of crypto, like I said, can 10, 20x in the bull run, and then you have like a lot, and then you can play that money to, to make way more out of it. So there are, yeah, the, the, the crypto is such a good way to make a lot of money. It's all just the problem is that it's so easy to lose a lot of money with it as well. And that's what we did. That's what I did at least. Um, so yeah, that, that's very that's very bad, but this is what we got to learn from, man. And that's for later, but it's a very good reason to subscribe to the channel. This is my third bear market right now. And what I really, the mistake that I made most, really believe me, you do not want to do this because if it takes you three bear markets to learn this, then you will probably have profits in around 10 years from now, right? You better <laughs> learn from other people's mistakes. What I really learned and what cost me the most money is that I made a lot of money in crypto. I made a shitload of money in crypto, really. And it was easy. In the bull run, if you really bought, I bought in 2017, man. It was absolutely insane that how I really bought here at the run-up and then rode this complete wave and i was like damn 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 i saw thousands and i didn't invest a lot back then but i saw thousands of dollars coming in every day every day no joke it was crazy but what the problem was is not taking profits because you think the run-up is endless right so you can better just buy here and even sell here well, that's like a big difference, but you get the point. This better example, you can better buy here and sell, for example, here um, and miss out on this. Then don't sell here because you think it goes higher and then ride the wave down again. That's what, what I did a lot. That's my fault. So more of the story. Forget about your 2021 portfolio, to call it like that, but take a look at it like, why did, did I buy these coins? Uh, am I still convinced and make a new portfolio or multiple portfolios even to start all over again? Dollar cost slowly into it. Bitcoin is sitting at the moment at $21,000, something like that. It's, it's a great moment to buy. I'll make videos showing you multiple indicators that this is the best buying opportunity we ever had in crypto, ever, ever. Don't sell, don't sell right now. I mean, like I said, I, you bought here, you wrote this wave down, what's the point of selling now, right? It's stupid. And make a passive income with crypto. And it's not that hard. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you want to know how we'll be dropping a lot of videos on this stuff. This, this channel is really going to help us out in the bear market to make it in the bull market, guys. Got a lot of experience that I wanna share with you and I can prevent you making mistakes for the coming six, seven years. And last thing, by the way, this is very important, patience. Usually was also my mistake when I saw something looked at a good price. I was like, no, no, no. It was depending on the minute, right? And now, and, and now I look back at it and I'll be like, why did I have to buy it right away? It was stupid. It doesn't matter if I buy it right now. I can wait a month, right? Because if we have to compare this bear market to other bear markets, what I really noticed is this was the 2017 bear market. It doesn't look like a lot, a little bump in the way, but this was 100x on Bitcoin, right? It was absolutely insane. What I noticed is we are at the top right here. We come down. We have a relief rally. We come down again. We have a relief rally and we go pretty much sideways. What did we do? We go up, we go down, we have a relief rally, big ass relief rally, by the way. We come down, we have a relief rally, then we come down again, and now it looks like we are really starting to go sideways. And it can go up, can come down. People call this a relief rally, but I think in the biggest scheme, you know, if you zoom out, it, 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 is it really? I mean, we went up a lot, we went down a lot, and now it's pretty much sideways. And yeah, we'll go up and down a little bit, but you know, and my point is that this took a long time in 2017, right? It took really a long time, like a year or something like that. Um, in 2000 and whatever, 14, I think it was, uh, the bear market also lasted quite long, right? We went up, we went down, we had a relief rally right here, went down, we went at a relief rally, we went down and we went sideways. And that sideways price action pretty much took like, yeah. 230 days back then, right? Uh, in 2017, 
just to put some things in perspective guys because you really i know i know it's boring to hear this but like this was really the sideways area right here and here it took 329 days so all less than a year less than a year but if we look where we are right now we are not close yet right i mean uh the really the sideways movement has now been going on for 60 days two months um, so yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we just have some boring times in crypto to come, come, coming couple of months. But all with all, if you, yeah, you have to see this as a chance. Crypto in the bull market, uh, it's an overnight getting really rich. It's actually possible. In the bull market, you can go to sleep and you wake up and suddenly your portfolio three x. It's absolutely incredible. But in the bear market, oh, shit. But in the bear market, that's just not going to happen. Um, Unless you have a lot of luck, right? But that's, you know, exceptions are always there. But in a bear market, that's not going to happen. In a bear market, you'd be like, okay, I have a job. If I don't have a job, I get a job. If my job doesn't pay me enough, I get a second job. You fuck your excuses. There are always excuses. Don't, don't use that. That will never help you, right? Get a job. Get your money, dollar cost, slowly, every week, every month, whatever. I'll make videos about that as well. Subscribe to the channel. But slowly allocate while we're in this boring period right here while we go up down up down up down everybody getting heart attacks bears bulls bears bulls and then at a certain point when we go up again here which will happen at the end of the day when i don't know but this always happens when we go up again you are prepared that's it for now i want to say sorry for the long ass video but i'm not gonna apologize of course for content that we all kind of need i think um because i i don't know i love to watch people look, uh saying motivational stuff like this and i really hate to help you guys doing this and myself as well by the way so thanks for watching like the video if you like the video be back for more very soon so uh, subscribe to the channel trade safe see you soon oh and leave a comment with what kind of content you would like to see bye